part way through. Let me actually move this so I can actually be able to zoom in and yeah, so I can watch it more as clear for video. But um, blue. All right. So I wanted to talk about something at hand. And that, of course, has been the comment I made yesterday regarding everything with my mental state. Now, I just want to really quickly reassure everyone I'm feeling much better. In fact, I am actually kind of missing streaming and just grinding videos in general. Um, I know this is going to come up as a second upload on the YouTube channel in a day, which is something I don't like doing typically, but I feel if I don't get this out now, then I'm going to feel guilty about it. So anyway, um, stuff that's still ongoing, I will be posting an update video once everything plays out, but I just want to say I am starting to feel more comfortable about streaming potentially. And I am also feeling more comfortable about grinding more content for the channel. Now, it just had to take some time to just recoup and just take in everything that is going on in my life right now. But yes, you will not be seeing Beard for probably maybe a week, and then it will be growing back and stuff like that. I've already, got, I've already had people at work ask me where, what happened to the Beard and all that. So, yeah, that's exactly what happens. Nothing, nothing special, it's just... I decided to chop it off. And I mentioned that, and I do mention that in tomorrow's video. I think that's the third granny part. However, I do not want whatever is happening right now to interfere with the channel anymore. I wanted to do it, but everybody has told me, well, at least I feel that it should not be able to affect what is going on in my personal life. Here, let me, I actually have something to show you. And there's actually something to, I guess, distract me. What is this? Oh, okay. Well, I am throwing this into, oh. This one. Uh, let's just watch play this. All right, and uh, yeah, we are playing some Vanguard. Um, yeah, and I've actually recorded this all on PC, and it is actually stable. So, yeah, you'll be seeing some Vanguard gameplay from me. As you can tell, I'm not moving my hands. Uh, this is actual gameplay that I've recorded myself. Uh, which, by the way, I will be talking about the state of Vanguard Zombies at the moment. So, so if you don't know, uh, there's a new element of zombies out now. And that is called The Void. Now, as you can tell, it's actually been uh, updated a little bit considering there's now a Pack-A-Punch camo applied to um, the zombies. Yeah, that was actually a recent thing they've actually updated it, which kind of sounds bad considering the fact they, they should have done that like a long long time ago but hey I guess you can't fault them for everything so yeah um but what I did want to talk about was the void the Void is fun if, if the, the only thing I have against the Void is you need a good proper setup for the Void. <laughs> and as you can tell by my progression and stuff, I have been playing a, quite a bit of, uh, Vanguard Zombies. I've been actually playing a little bit of Cold War Zombies, too. I will be streaming a little bit of that. I'll also be streaming a little bit of Vanguard Zombies, now knowing that my PC can handle it and is not completely and utterly laggy. So, 
yeah, I'll be using it under my vanish. And also, after all the granny videos come out, I'm also going to come at you guys with uh, the little side Easter egg within Duran Fong. Yes, there has been this little side Easter egg main quest within the game. So, yeah. So, touching upon, there's new covenants that you can actually use to your advantage in the void. You can also upgrade your artifact now, which is all fun and dandy and everything in between. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering when this gameplay was recorded, this was recorded today, I think, I think a few hours ago, so. Yeah, that's fun. Um, so yeah, and also, I didn't just want to talk about just about Call of Duty, I wanted to talk about other games, like... Hitman 3 is actually coming out in 7 days on Steam, and is also coming out with a Steam VR version, which means if the recording and everything is stable and stuff like that, I will be recording and streaming the VR version of Hitman 3, which was something I experimented with on PlayStation, but I just don't think it was optimized enough. I think they, I think in this new up. I think they actually just launched like two hours ago as the time I'm recording this. They uh, made it so that way you can use both the wands to actually traverse through the environment, which I thought was pretty cool. And yeah, I'll be making probably making a separate video on Hitman 3, but yeah, just to say Hitman 3 content will return. And the only reason why I gave up on it really was because A, my PS4, my old PS4 died. I'm going to. I'm thinking about actually relaunching the Hitman 3 uh, series, but I'm not too sure about that yet. That is yet to come. I will be explaining all that in one video. I have not abandoned the Hitman community. <laughs> I just have not have been not been interested. Also, I do want to give an update for the FNAF fan games that I mentioned in the pinned comment that I've actually recently deleted. I just felt it was a burden at this point. And having that being a burden is not a good thing. So, what f fan games do I mean? Now, FNAF World has, is an unofficial game by Scott that I have downloaded on my computer currently. So, I will be sharing that soon. But, I wanted to talk about the fan games. So, uh, Five Nights at Fredbear's, I think. It's a really weird one, but I had played it before, like a couple of years ago. I don't remember anything about it now. Um, I also have all three One Night, one night and Fluffy games, so that's fun and exciting. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Fan, FNAF fan game. So I have One Night Flump Thieves. I have Five Nights at Fred Bears, which I will be um, streaming slash recording. Um, what else? I also have, um, oh, God. I also have. The Joy of Creation story mode and the Joy of Creation Reborn. So, look forward to that. I also have Faz Fredbear's Fright. Which, I'm not sure how that's going to age. But, yeah, it, it, sound, it seems like a pretty interesting fan game, so I downloaded it. And also, you're going to see a lot more grinding from Black Ops Cold War. Hopefully on the Twitch channel going into the YouTube channel. 
and I need to upload some Firebase C content, or at least try to find, try to recover that content from my old PS4 and transfer it over to the new one and upload it because that is actual launch Firebase Z gameplay even though I'm not sure if too much has changed from when it initially released so yeah and I also want to mention that I'm, I know I keep jumping topics here but I want to also talk about the Grandy part. So part three, so part two is out, and then part three, um, I actually recorded on the same day that I wanted to give another fair shake on the, on it, and yeah, it did not turn out that well at all, so. Yeah, but as far as everything goes, I think that's going to be effectively it for all the up for all the updates I have right now. I'm just so eager to co go back to grinding, uh, grinding content in general. I feel a lot more comfortable with it. Um, but if I do have to take time, I will take a little time, and I will let you guys know. But for right now. I feel absolutely confident in returning. So I do hope y'all enjoy it. If you please, please hit that like button down below, click the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video.